f vector has a constant magnitude constant magnitude means it is having yes mod of f vector to be equal to f right constant length then f vector and df by dt are perpendicular this we need to show now uh, we have also uh, done in the previous video that there is a theorem that if f vector is having constant magnitude then this will happen if and only if dot product of f vector df by dt is equal to zero and if a vector function is having constant direction then cross product of f and df by dt is zero right so i'm just uh, reminding you again if the vector is having constant magnitude then is its dot product with f vector dot its dot product with df by dt is equal to zero and if it is having a constant direction then its cross product with df by dt is equal to zero this we have done in the previous video right so just keep this in mind so what the theorem is saying f vector has a constant magnitude that means we are going to use that dot product of f vector and df by dt is equal to zero and i have to prove that f and df by dt are perpendicular this is very easy to prove now since f dot f vector this is equal to mod f mod f cos of zero because these are the same vectors so having no angle between them so this is equal to mod of f vector square right which is a constant obviously this is constant because it's given that f vector has a constant magnitude so uh, therefore if i take the derivative d by dt of this if i take the derivative then this will be equal to because it is a constant so here derivative is zero take the derivative on both the sides then d by dt of this is equal to zero which implies again you have to solve what is the derivative for these two dot product functions this is first function dot derivative of second plus derivative of first function dot second this is equal to zero which implies 2f dot df by dt is equal to zero which implies i get f dot df by dt is equal to zero now what does it mean it means that dot product of these two vectors is zero which means when this will be zero see this dot product is equal to what mod of f mod of df by dt cos of now what i mentioned here so that this thing is equal to zero this dot product to be equal to zero what i mentioned the angle over here cos pi by two very good so at 90 degree angle so that means the angle between this function and this vector function is 90 degree and pi by 2 angle means these two are perpendicular to each other right so if dot product is zero that means both these vectors are perpendicular to each other so hence can i write f vector and df by dt this vector is r perpendicular all right okay